How is it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another automotive news video and today we're going to be talking about the brand new Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now as a Mustang owner myself, I have a lot of mixed feelings about this car to just put it lightly i guess and even though that is the case i can still not deny the fact that this car is a you know pretty revolutionary and going to be probably a pretty important car when we look when we eventually look back on it in the future well for obvious reasons this is the first fully electric vehicle that ford is actually manufacturing and uh, selling and also it does bear the very famous mustang badge and because of that, a lot of people have different emotions towards it. Me, quite frankly, I think it would have been a great crossover SUV electric vehicle if it didn't have the Mustang badge. I think it's a great vehicle in general. I just really don't like that they, they call it a Mustang. I don't think it's a true Mustang as a lot of other car enthusiasts don't really think that it's a true Mustang. But if we put that aside, again, this thing does offer a very unique and modern driving experience for the consumer. And I've already started to see a few of them actually on the road. So now with that out of the way, moving on to this article by Car and Driver. This is a shorter article, but pretty much the Ford Mustang Mach-E has now officially passed the Michigan State Police testing. Now, before going further on in this article, uh, that is significant in and out of itself because um, the state of Michigan has actually done their police testing with multiple other EVs, and this is the very first EV to actually pass their tests. I don't know what that entails, and a lot of that stuff isn't really uh, public information for obvious reasons, and it's not included in this article. But I'm sure it's probably a mix of endurance as well as track and tactical driving and braking and accelerating and things like that. And then, of course, in addition to the car's uh, crash ratings or safety ratings. But moving on, this is very important because now it's actually basically available to be kind of quote unquote rolled into their fleet. And a previous police ready version of the Mach-E is already being manufactured or I guess being used in the United Kingdom, which is pretty important as well. And this part of the article does kind of basically state that this is technically a Ford Pro vehicle and the Ford Pro vehicles do include vehicles such as the Ford Explorer and in police interceptor and vehicles that are used for government officials. So we all know that the police interceptor engines have always been you know, higher output than the stock vehicle, whether it be an Explorer, whether it be a Crown Vic, or even like one of the modern day Chargers or things like that. Obviously the cop cars are always going to have the better performing cars than the, just the stock vehicles from the factory or the stock counterparts from the factory. Because I mean, for example, if we're talking about Chargers specifically, the police car that the cops have, probably not as, as good as a Hellcat, but it is going to be a lot better than the factory like Charger RT coming from Dodge. Also in this article, it's important to note that Ford has yet to mention the differences between the Mustang Mach-E and the actual, and the vehicle that they actually sent to do this Michigan State Police testing. And the actual results of this testing will be published in further detail later this fall. So we don't really know much right now. And like I said, this is a much shorter article than some of the other ones that I talk about on the channel. And continuing down, this actually does show the uh, Mustang Mach-E that Ford is already using in the United Kingdom. You can see the yellow and blue livery as opposed to our kind of like blue and white livery that we have over here in the States. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. Me personally, I think this is great for Ford to do. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Ford is like the main manufacturer of police vehicles and they have been for decades. At least, again, at least here in the States, I know in Europe, they may use different things like Peugeots or you know Citrions or whatever the hell they use over there. But I do think that an electric vehicle will work as a great cop car because a lot of cop cars, they don't have like the crazy need for speed high mileage super high speed police chase that you think of when you like think of cop chases or you think of like different movies or whatever 99 percent of a cop car's life is going to be spent driving city miles which is really really bad for a vehicle and again that is always why the police interceptor variants of different vehicles have 
not only performed well, but I've also proven to be a lot more reliable. And as far as an electric vehicle is concerned, again, it's a new vehicle, it's a new platform out there. So they are probably going to find a couple little quirks to kind of work out in the car. But if it's electric, uh, probably charging is going to be very accessible to the cops on patrol. And again, it's instant torque. So they're going to get where they need to be really quickly, get to a scene, get to an emergency very quickly. And it is also going to be saving municipalities and cities a lot on gas. Now, with that, there does come the argument, which I always like to make against electric vehicles is, yeah, you're gonna be saving a lot of money on gas, but you're going to be spending a decent amount more on electricity. Now, I do think that it would probably be more efficient for municipalities to go fully electric because I think the cost would be less. I, like Again, I think the jump in electricity would be a lot less than the actual reduction in gasoline use. Now with that, the municipalities are also probably going to be spending a lot more money on these vehicles because don't forget, I mean, Ford isn't really running, you know, charity fund here. They do have contracts that they have to fulfill for the government and the government, whether it's federal, uh, state or county, even though I'm pretty sure most of their contracts are through like state uh, government contracts. But those entities, those government entities, whatever they may be, are actually paying Ford for those vehicles. Uh, a lot of people don't like talk about that that much, but Ford is making money on these. And again, I do think it's a great move for Ford, but now government officials have to kind of figure out whether uh, this is going to be efficient or not, because we very well may see a police interceptor Ford Mustang Mach-E in the next couple of years or or even as early as this coming year. But we also may never see them at all because they might just be way too expensive for the government to actually afford. Now, before ending today's video, I did just want to show you guys this little clip of the Ford Mustang Mach-E actually on the track. And this is always really trippy to me to see electric vehicles on the track because I've, I've been to road courses, like I've been to track days and one of the best things is like the engines roaring but as you can see in this clip and i apologize for the quality it's so bad but literally all you hear is the tire screeching which again i know you know it's electric it's an electric vehicle get over it and also it does look really cool in the police livery this is actual footage from the michigan state police testing and you can see on the side here it says all electric pilot program and then the big police I mean, the thing looks really, really cool. Quite frankly, the thing actually does look pretty cool. And coming from a Mustang owner, again, I do not think the thing deserves the Mustang badge, but I do think the Mach-E is a very good looking crossover SUV. And to kind of sum things up today, pretty much the only thing stopping this from actually becoming a reality, us seeing a police interceptor Mustang Mach-E is the government figuring out whether this is, again, monetarily worth it or not. Now that's pretty much just gonna wrap it up for today. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, whether you think that we're actually going to be seeing this Mach-E in a police version on our public roads in the near future. But like always guys, thank you for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.